Um, when you discussed uh, using every legislative tool possible, I know there's been a lot of talk about a potential discharge petition to get this to the House floor. Uh, but is there any concern that you might lose more Democrats on one side of this to try to get a discharge petition than Republicans would be willing to come over and sign on to it? No. All options are on the table. We're going to utilize every available legislative tool. And what is clear is that there are more than 300 bipartisan votes in the House of Representatives to pass the national security bill today. More than 300 bipartisan votes. It's not too much to ask in America's national security that we get an up or down vote and let the House of Representatives actually work its will as opposed to allowing Donald Trump to work his will and block our national security priorities. Leader Jeffrey. Just, just to follow up, so how many Democrats do you think you would lose on this, first of all? And secondly, have you actually begun that process of reaching out to Republicans to sign on to a discharge petition? We're going to have a conversation uh, in our leadership meeting today. We'll also meet uh, as a steering and policy committee and then as a caucus family uh, tomorrow morning to discuss the precise steps that we will take. Uh, but it's clear to me that the overwhelming majority of House Democrats are ready, willing, and able to support the national security bill right now. We're not the problem. The problem is on the extreme MAGA Republican side. Let's be clear. They need to end the partisanship, the brinksmanship, and the gamesmanship and work with us in a bipartisan way to get this done. 